So Simon is always very stressed, uh, stressed about uh, pencils. He loses all the pencils. He never has a pencil. So he decided to buy a box. Show you with 144 pencils. Do you guys want to guess how long this is gonna last? Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our... Adventure. Okay, so this is week 15 on the boat, and uh, we're going to be working in the engine room, which is really exciting for a change. Yeah. So the first thing to do is to get in there and clean, clean it out. Because, because we have been filthy. bringing leaves all yeah, the way it's in. it's absolutely filthy in there. So we're going to get all that out. We're then going to get the uh, metal flooring in, which weeks and weeks ago we had painted painted yes and then we're going to put the electrical panel on the front wall uh and get that bolted on fix yeah. it yeah so that's our main target and we go yeah let's do the work what are these baskets here well they're stuff that i've got to move it i can move it now if you want to cross it Nice, yeah. Nice. Yeah, looks so good. Got it? We are attaching a large board to the front wall of the engine room. This will be used to mount the battery chargers, fuses, hot water boiler, and fuel filters. So Simon got some really big, nice screws to go in there. Bolts. 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 Machine screws. Definitely. I keep saying to him, just by the damn screws. This is the last one, so it's a bit tricky. So these are um, like a grid system. So you put this on the wall and then you can connect all your gas, water or electrics to it and keep it all tidy. So that's the plan. So we have to have a measure right now. This channel is set off the board by 10 millimetres. This will allow us to use cable ties to attach the cables and pipes to the channel. These are solid oak worktops for the shelves in the front cabin. I have previously made a template in order to cut the rather complicated shape. because it's raining. 
but uh, in the end, that's got a nice little finish on there. So I'm painting the shelves that go in the bedroom on that side. We decided for, to go for this color, it's very neutral and it looks a lot with uh, the cupboard we have there. Right? So we are starting to put the ventilation, isn't it? Yeah. We so put, we just made the hole in the boat. We have to put what they call these these mushrooms in, uh, so that you can have ventilation on the inside. And so we've got to cut a nine centimeter hole here, and then uh, this will be on the outside, and the other part will be on the inside. How many we're we gonna put? That's the big question. That's the big question, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're putting three solar ones in, which have got fans uh, to extract air, and we're putting one in both uh, bathrooms and one over the oven, um, just to take the heat away, like you'd have an extraction fan above your oven. And uh, we're going to have to put about three of these in as well. Mm -hmm. I think one in each cabin. Yeah. Um, so six, and then you've got to have them uh, low level as well. So we have to put them under the gunnel. Uh, on the outside of the heart and then a pipe feeding down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Seems a bit ridiculous to me. <laughs> well, we're here, we'll do it. <laughs> this is a little trick on how to get a hole any size you want. Put uh, a marking for a hole. Put that on there. Well, I've measured this at four and a half centimetres. How about that? That is a genius, isn't it? Well, that's about two, two and a half, three centimetres? Three? Hmm. Okay. So I've drilled the holes out and uh, I'm going to tap the thread in there now. Now, you have to be very careful with these small taps. Make sure you get the right size drill bit, I've discovered. Lovely hole in the boat. So this is the full side uh, top for the shelf unit and I had to put a little extension on along here. Yeah. And so now it's dried, I'm going to uh, cut it off and uh, sand it down and then hopefully it'll be perfect.
so today my job is uh, varnishing all the um, the worktops that Simon did last week uh, and, and the walls too. It's a lot of varnishing to do on this boat so I'm gonna start, start doing it since Simon is doing the wall uh, up there and I'm, I can't help him there anyway. So yeah I have done just one of the sides And now I have the other side to go. 